You are welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your teacher again. I brought for you an advanced method of balancing advanced or A-level A equations. This part is particular for A-level. So an A-level student sit around up to the end. Learn how to balance any equation at A level with ease. Now, before I start, I request that you subscribe this YouTube channel and also like the video so that you receive notifications of similar videos. Now, how do you balance advanced equations? There are several methods of balancing chemical equations. The first very method depends, of course, the method of choice depends on the equation, on the type of equation. For a simple equation, you just use the, the traditional table method or the heat and try method. Then, if you reach some complex equation, which are not ionic, you can use the algebra method. Of course, if the equation is ionic, you need modifications in the algebra method. So I don't, I don't encourage you to use algebra method on ionic equations unless you convert it back to a molecular equation. Now, concerning the A-level equations, I request that you normally use most of the time use ionic equations unless it's not possible. When you are using an equa a molecular equation which is not ionic, balance using the algebra method. However complex the equation is, the algebra method will convert it. Now, for the case of ionic equations, which are a bit advanced, use the redox method for advanced equations, the one I'm presenting now. So let's dive into the redox method of balancing advanced level equations. Now, I'm putting two examples here. Watch to the end to be able to get to understand this method. Let's look at reaction between aluminum and sodium hydroxide just have a few principles for chemical reactions. Like, for example, metal plus a base, you must be able to produce a salt and hydrogen gas. So maybe metal. Our metal is aluminium. Sorry, that means ionic molecular equation or chemical equation. So aluminium plus sodium hydroxide, we are using ionic because the redox method requires that you use ionic equation. So I'm getting the salt aluminate ions. Then we say metal plus alkali must must produce salt and hydrogen gas or a complex and hydrogen gas. So aluminate ions can have other versions. Also can have this. But remember, the more the number of hydrogens or oxygens on the, on the chemical formula, the more it is hard to balance. If you look at this equation, it would be much easier to balance if your product was this than this other equation. This would be much more time consuming. So let's use that upper one there. Or use any, any can work for this case here. So we are going to to reduce the redox method, we split our equation into two ways. The redox half equation and oxidation half equation. So I'll split it this way. You can, if you don't know you're going to be oxidized, can either work out or just look for what correlates on both sides. So I'm taking aluminium to this and this to this. I'm going to write the half equations, add them and eliminate acidic medium to come up with the balance square. This is done in a minute and half at fairly good speed. So aluminium going to be taken to our minute. So the steps of balancing redox equations, go and divide them or watch them in the other video, then you'll be able to be at par with us. So aluminium is one, aluminium is one. Now oxygen is are four, so I need four water molecules to balance oxygen atoms. So add this way, four water molecules. You have to always first balance oxygen and hydrogen. So by adding four water molecules, I create eight hydrogen atoms. So yeah, there are four, I need four, four hydrogen ions. Always 
hydrogen atoms are balanced by hydrogen ions. Let's look at the charge. The charge has no charge this side on the left. There is a charge of 3. Positive 4 minus 1 is positive 3, so I add positive 3 electrons to make the charge go to 0. This is our equation 1. Let's split this into this. So OH ions taking us hydrogen. Now, oxygen atoms are not this way. First, balance oxygen atoms by one water molecule this side. Let's move the next step. So, gives us plus one water molecule. Now, there are four hydrogen atoms created, so add three hydrogen ions. Then the total charge is 3 minus 1, which is positive 2. Here, yeah, no charge, so I add two electrons. Decide that we have just this question move a bit the other side. So this is 2 electrons plus 3 hydrogen ions. Sorry. Plus 3 plus OH ions. Gives us. Uh, you just hide it, yes. There was one with molecule. Right. So that pattern is balancing. Now I call it my pattern two. I'm going to add the pattern two to pattern three. Then I cancel the acidic media. So this pattern added to this, but remember, let me remove these minor pattern. My interest is in this. So add this together. So I multiply this by 2 and this by 3 to, to eliminate electrons. So this is 6 electrons with 6 and electrons will disappear. So I'll get albina here, sorry. Plus, here there are 8 water molecules, minus 3. So that is 8, minus 3. There will be about 5 water molecules, so 5 water molecules. Plus 8 minus 3, that's 5. So I write in iron, this is 9, and these are about 8. So I subtract, this is 9 minus 8. That gives me 1. Okay, so I'm done with that. Then OH ions, I have 3. So 3 OH ions. Gives me that side of 2 aluminate ions. Then, I've already balanced this, then plus 3 hydrogen ion, 3 hydrogen gas molecule. Now, we eliminate the hydrogen ions using water. So we ionize one water molecule. So ionize one water molecule, because I need to eliminate one hydrogen ion. Then I add this equation the upper one. So I'm going to remove this line. So let's add to this. Let's cancel with this. So I'll have a minimum. I hope I didn't I forgot the tooth here. So minimum plus is now six water molecules. Uh, then OH ions I have 3 minus 1, so that gives me 2 hydrogen ions, OH ions. Then this side of the 12 minutes ions, then plus 3 hydrogen gas. I hope it balances, we can check through. So this equation, the required equation up here now, would be the required equation would be 2 alumina plus 6 water molecules plus 2 OH ions gives me 2 alumina ions plus 3 hydrogen gas. So that's how you arrive at that equation here. Let's have example 2. So let's do the same. Phosphorus, just have a clue on the products. 
then the balancing can come in. For the product, so I receive phosphinate ions plus phosphine gas. So by knowing this product, you can get half equation for this, if there is phosphorus here, get half equation for this. So it seems both have phosphorus there. So I'm simply going to have phosphorus going to both of them. Because both are sharing phosphorus, so it is hard to claim that this will go. So maintain this, it will come in itself there. Yeah? So let's get the half equation for this, then the half equation for that, then you see. So phosphorus to this, now we need to remove those arrows to create space. So phosphorus going to H2, pure 2 by. So let's start by balancing hydrogen atoms. I mean balancing atoms which are not oxygen and hydrogen, our phosphorus is four. So just put a four there first. So by putting the form balance phosphorus right there. Now let's balance oxygen atoms using water. So this is eight. So I need eight water molecules here. Plus this gives me this. So by putting eight water molecules. I create 16 hydrogen atoms, so I need, these are eight, so I need eight hydrogen on this side. Now let's look at the charge. There is no charge this way. The charge is eight minus four. That gives us four. So I need four electrons, call it one. Let's now have phosphorus going for five, since phosphorus appeared in both. So phosphorus, going for five also, this is one, we have interpreted one, so two. So here, we don't see oxygen there, so I do not need, I don't necessarily need it there. Let me first balance what I need phosphorus is a four. So put four there. So by putting it, balance phosphorus first, but here I'm instead creating here 12 protons. So I have to introduce hydrogen and this side. So put 12 hydrogens, balance, balance hydrogen atoms here. So I put phosphine gas here. Now let's look at the charge. The charge is positive 4. I do not have any charge. That's why I have 12 electrons here. So plus 4 electrons. So 4 plus 5. Yep. I think that equation now balances, so I call this equation 2. Now looking into this, this has 12 electrons, this has 4 electrons, I'm going to add the two equations. Let me rub out the unnecessary equations here. So lifting this close to this, before, plus 12 electrons. Gives us purpose time, yes. Now, by doing so, let's add and multiply this equation by 3. Because I need them to cast electrons. So, multiply by 3, these electrons will come from and they will die with this. So, let's distribute 4 water molecules plus 3 phosphorus, then plus this phosphorus, and this will become 4. So for phosphorus, then giving me right here the 12 hydrogen ions, these are 10 for so I take them the other side. So I get this. Plus this is now 24 minus 12, giving us 12 hydrogen ions. Then plus for phosphine gas. Now let's eliminate the problems. Let's eliminate the problems here because it's sodium hydroxide using. Now we choose 12, the equation of ionization of water but multiplied by 12. So we use this equation, hydrogen ions plus OH ions 
we have trans water. Keeping in mind that if I bring the energy in this water to convert water the other way around with the reversible arrows, it's just we are balancing whether reversible or not reversible. So multiply it by 12 by 12 by 12. Let me remove this. Add this two. Now let's add them together to cancel this medium. Now this is 24 minus 12 water. Give us 12 water. Plus this is now 4. Sorry. Gives us plus 12 or 8 times. Then gives us 4 of this first make one plus now four plus five plus five plus two four plus now by observation for the common factor so divide through by four the overall equation finally the required equation there is now transformed to is now dividing through by four to the phosphorus plus three of H then plus three water molecules gives us divide through by four or two to give you plus plus five minus. And that's the required equation the question wanted about here. So we are going to pull this phosphor solid hydroxide lines plus three water molecules gives us Phosphinate ions, the two not a three. Phosphinate ions, the two not a three. Okay, phosphinate ions. And then plus phosphine gas. Phosphine here. Yeah. Hope that you are balancing the there. Hope I didn't forget anything here. Multiply this was four. Sorry. Multiply by three. This was four. So this was four. So and finally, this would maintain four. Okay, that's right. That would maintain four. So that's how you balance this equation by splitting them into oxidation half and reduction half. That's an advanced method to balance advanced equations, which might not be simple to balance. Thank you for watching. Tap the subscribe button to receive more interesting videos in a simple way. Thank you.